Hello, everybody. It's Jody Franklin here, and I am so excited today to have Joy Houston on with me. And some of you may know that I am involved in her program. I jumped in head first when I found out about it. It's called Protocol to Program, and she'll, she'll explain about that later. But for right now, she's going to teach you some amazing um, hints and, and tips today on six essential steps to passive income online for health coaches. And this is how you really can up level your game. And I will tell you, it's been a lot of hard work going through this program, but I can't wait to have the freedom that I won't need to take all these one-on-one, -on -one, on one on one people. And, and I'm like, frankly getting a little burned out from taking so many clients. And I will say, I, I signed up for this program. I thought I would have like maybe a little bit of you know, hints and tips and things to get my online programs going. I did not expect this program, the, the level of professionalism and the depth of the course and just everything I've learned has up-leveled my game so much. I am in such, I have so much gratitude to Joy and Travis, her husband who run this program. It is <laughs> unbelievable. And they have actually brought some big players to the table, including Dr. Amy Myers, Chris Kresser, they've worked with Sarah Godfrey, Dr. Daniel Amen, um, JJ Virgin. I mean, huge names in functional medicine. And I can't wait to launch my program. I'm about to launch it. And some of the participants in our cohort have launched and they have done amazing. I'm sure Joy will tell you about that. I can't believe that what they're bringing in in terms of people signing up for this program. And so far, I already have 160 something on my, on my wait list. So I can't wait to, um, you know, get those people in the program. Yeah. But Joy, thank you so much for coming on. Welcome. And Aww. Take My it away. pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> all those, uh, all those wonderful practitioners that you mentioned uh, have one thing in common that I'm pretty darn sure almost all of you can relate to, and that is this: they were working so hard in their business. I mean, really pouring their heart and soul and putting everything on the line, trying to change the lives of their clients. And it just wasn't working out the balance of what they felt like they were putting in and then what they felt like they were getting out, you know, even as rewarding as it was, the finances with all their student loans and debt and everything else, it just had these people feeling frazzled. And you guys know these people, right? I mean, Amy, amazing at what she does. And she had Graves disease herself, right? So of course, she's so passionate about helping these people. Um, but you know what? The clinic life is all dominating if you let it be okay so um for those of you who love clinic life uh we're not going to try to snatch that away from you um clinic life is wonderful and one-on-one -on -one has a magic about it that cannot be beat uh but let's face it we can only touch so many lives by one-on-one -on -one, and we can only make so much income one-on-one -on -one. so what we're talking about here today is really leveraging in ways that give you multiple streams of income and my goal with all of that is so that you have absolute freedom, right? So if you want to do one-on-one -on -one, three half days a week and you want to spend an hour teaching three different groups and you want the rest of the days off to be with your family or write your book or come up with the next protocol you want to turn into a program, that's all on you, right? I want you to have the freedom to decide to do as much or as little one-on-one -on -one as sets your heart on fire because people like you guys, people who commit to healing all of us who need you, um, you're a very very special breed. And in my mind, you deserve to make a lot more than you currently are. So I'm sharing with you six things, right? These are six steps toward passive income. And before I dive in and show you all this, there's a couple of things I want to make sure you know that there is a handout because you're going to see a couple of things that I would like you to do. Uh, and so I put the exercises in those handouts. And then for those of you who are really passionate about adding leveraged income, um, Jody asked me to put together a very in-depth training that's very brass tacks and it just 
that's very rubber hits the road. And uh, you can dive into that training. And because of her, you have Jody to thank. Um, you have that in-depth training available to you. So you'll see the link inside that handout. And because Jody's group is so special, you guys are always so engaged and we get so many amazing questions. Um, you guys for the next five days have access to speak directly to our team about your questions about leveraging. And that's only for you guys. Um, so don't pass those around because it's only for five days and they're first come first serve. So if you watch the training and you want to get the kinks out of how you can leverage, take advantage of those sessions. I guarantee that will be a big win for you and your practice and whether or not you need us, right? We're going to assume your business is our own. Uh, and we're going to tell you exactly what next three steps we would take on those calls. So it's a great value if you guys want to do it I'm completely free, just a gift for Jody and for this community. Okay. That's so awesome. I can't wait. And you know, <laughs> RJ, you're giving away some templates too, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll dive into the six steps and that okay. way you'll guys will know why certain things are in that handout. Um, but if you attend that training, that means that you're serious about leveraging. And if you're serious, I'm serious about helping helping you. And so when you go to that training, you're going to see that you have a whole series of email templates you can send right now to get more clients in action with you. So you can invest in leveraging your business, right? You're also going to see free social media templates so you can start growing your audience and your list, right? So many of what I'm sharing with you today are things that people like Jody in the program have said to me, Oh, I really wish I would have started this before, even before I met you. And even before I started the program, so when Jody invited me to do this, I thought, hey, you know, why not tell you guys exactly what everyone in the program is wishing they had jump started a little bit earlier? Because then when you guys are ready to leverage, you're going to be even farther ahead than the people that we're serving right now. Make sense? Awesome. All right, let's dive in. I'm going to go ahead and share screen. Is that okay, Jody? Yeah, for sure. Perfect. Okay. I will go ahead and knock this out. I won't be all slide deck presentation here because I want to see your beautiful face, but definitely easiest for you guys to follow along on each one of these steps uh, if we're able to kind of have something visually to look at together. Okay. So uh, Jody, can you see my screen? Okay. Just to confirm. sure can. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Um, the first thing I wanted to share is that these are six steps to passive income. Okay. All of these will work for health coaches and practitioners of various, ty various types. Uh, but I, the whole point is freedom. Okay. So everybody who loves one-on-one, -on -one, you can keep as much as you want, but I would like to make sure you have alternate revenue streams where if you want to go to Thailand, for three months, like we did with our son, um, and you want to keep money rolling in and people being served by your knowledge, you certainly can do that once you've set up leveraged income in this way. So that's what this is all about. So we're going to cover these six essential steps. Um, and then I want to, I want you to see the pathway to passive income from a few of your peers, uh, including one that was in Jody's group too. Um, as a matter of fact, we're going to take a sneak peek at Jody's program. Okay. <laughs> so you'll get to see some of that too. Too. And then you'll have those free gifts, the free training uh, and the invitation to have a session with us at the end of this training as well. Okay. So I have questions from you guys too, that were submitted in advance and we'll make sure I promise to answer those. Okay. Uh, so Jody told you who I am. My name is Joy Houston. I am the co-founder here at Heal at Scale. Um, I primarily focus on strategy and copywriting and content development. Uh, and together with my husband, Travis, we have served some of the the biggest, most wonderful people in the health and wellness space. It has been an absolute luxury, not just to help these people and see their financial growth, but see what happens to their life, right? How much more time John Atherev has with his sons. Uh, the fact that Amy really wanted to be a mom and that just wasn't possible with clinic life. And now she has her beautiful little girl, Elle, and she has tons of time with her husband and their puppy. It's really not as much about the money, you guys. The money is nice. Um, but it's what the money does for your life, right? And so here's a few people that we have helped. Um, you can 
see a lot of raving testimonials about us over on our website. So I'm not going to go into that too much because I really want to serve you very well. Uh, but our clients say wonderful things about having worked with us. Just a quick note from Amy, just the beginning here, I'll share you that Travis and Joy were instrumental in getting systems and communication set up for scaling my programs and product sales. And really, you guys, that's what it's all about, right, is making it systematized so that it's easy. So everything is plug and play. Um, and so you can grow at the level that you want, right? Some people want to scale to those hundreds of million dollar business. Some people would be perfectly happy making their first 500,000 or million dollar year. So wherever you're at with this, I want you to know everything is set up for you to grow as you need to grow and as you're ready to grow. Okay. Another person you might know, Chris Kresser, he's amazing. Um, some of you may have even been through his health coach training too. I know most of you are schooled of applied functional medicine, but he has an amazing adapt health coach program. This is this group is actually all health coaches, all so not everybody's gone through SAFM. Ah, they've, okay. they've gone to IAN. They've gone to okay, different all programs. different places. Yeah, so I'm familiar with a lot of them. Obviously, I'm familiar with Chris's because he, we helped him grow that audience. Um, but the point I want you to take away from this one is that we're set up for the year and into our future because everything that we do around here, and Jody can um, attest to this too. We don't want you to be beholden to us, so we give you a lot of systems and then teach you how to replicate them. So Jody is working on a program that you'll get to see today. And when she's ready for her next one, she's going to hit duplicate and she's going to have everything she needs to launch the next one. So we're very big on systems around here. Um, because some of our people are big names, uh, people get scared off that we can't help the hometown heroes. And I want to assure you that uh, this is Tra Taylor Dukes. You're going to see her success story here in just a minute, but she was not online at all. You know, she loved social media. So she was super social on there, but she wasn't transferring those people to her list. She didn't have an online program. And you are going to see that she had a very successful win in a very short amount of time, thanks to the systems that we're using. So let's go ahead and show you guys so you can start taking these actions yourself instead of talking about everybody else's wins. Um, before I dive in, I want to tell you something that the word passive income is being thrown around in this space a lot. OK, and I want to tell you, Jody can re can remind us all of this, too, that getting to passive income is anything but passive. It's anything but passive, right? Just like anything else, if you buy a house and you rent it out for passive income, well, you had to come up with all the money to buy that house in the first place, right? So passive income is anything but passive. And I'll tell you, the way that we teach you to do this is actually to start with what we call lightly managed passive income, right? Or sorry, li lightly managed streams of income that evolve into passive income. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that in just a minute. Um, but long story short, I want you to perfect your program so that you love them and you feel like you get very few customer service tickets or very few questions before you move it to an evergreen program. And an evergreen program is when the income becomes truly passive, right? Because an evergreen program is not a start date and a stop date. It can, People can buy it any day of the week they want, start any day of the week they want, any time of year, doesn't matter. Those programs are truly passive income, but it takes a minute to get there. So I want you to understand how it develops. All right. So step number one, and I think this is the most challenging one, is to embrace the concept of leverage, right? Most of you have been trained in the one-on-one -on -one paradigm, right? There's a practitioner, there's a person who needs their help. That is a one-on-one -on -one relationship that's very customized. Most people have trouble breaking out of the mindset, okay, that you can actually make money in a leveraged way. So there's three ways that I see that you can do that to really shake your brain up and start seeing how you absolutely can make money outside of the one-on-one -on -one setting. Now, the first one is to just see beyond, right? Say, hey, this is what I'm doing now and I love it, but I bet there might be alternatives and I want you to start looking at those. I'm going to show you how. And then to start thinking about topics. 
hmm, what might I want to do an online program about? Um, I'm going to share how Jody and I really struggled and kicked some things around before her settling on her program, because if you're not sure what your program would be about, you are not alone, okay? So don't worry about that. Um, and then you really need to understand how embracing leverage will not just add one new stream of income, but multiple streams of income. So I'm going to show you all those really quickly before we move on to the next step, okay? So the best thing to do to start seeing beyond one-on-one -on -one is to start looking around your community, right? Start looking around to see who do I respect that is starting to have a group program or a group offer of some kind. Okay. That's very easy to do a simple Google search, follow people that you love, check out what they're doing. And you'll see that this is spreading like wildfire, not just because of uh, the pandemic, which is a lot of people make the mistake. Everybody's doing this because of the pandemic. We've been doing this for JJ and Amy Myers and John Asser way before the pandemic, you guys. So this is something that smart people who want to help more humans on the planet are putting into play totally separate and apart from the pandemic. It just taps to happens to give you that extra layer of safety if something like that ever, God forbid, happens again. All right. Now, the other way to start stretching your mind outside of the one on one care paradigm is to look at other people's offers that you could sell. Right. So Jody is doing an amazing program about totally re, um, getting your skin to glow. It's called saving face. Right. You're going to see it later in the end. Well, hey, if you respect her and love her and you don't have an online program for skin, why wouldn't you sign up to be a promotional partner for her and start experimenting and seeing what it feels like to make money? Money and get great feedback from your people that they went through an amazing program. They're going to be thanking you. I mean, obviously they're going to love her too, but they're going to come back to you and be like, oh my gosh, I won't believe it. You're making money. They're getting better skin. Everybody wins. So start playing with looking at other peers whose programs you might want to promote. And obviously the one I hope you do is just bust out of that bubble and create your own program. And the one thing that I see stop practitioners is they think to themselves, hey, you know, uh, maybe you love healing gut health, right? They think to themselves, oh, there's so many gut health problems out there. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put out another gut health program. Well, I got news for you. Um, that was a concern of Taylor Dukes. And you're going to see that she made over half a million dollars launching a gut health program. Okay. It's not how many gut programs that there are. It's how people feel about you right? It's just like there's one person for everyone to love. There's one practitioner or coach to help people through every particular ailment. And everybody, like no one is able to speak to everybody. Everybody needs someone who's funny or serious or different, right? So our personality, what we bring to our programs is the difference that makes the difference, right? It's what your particular community needs. Now, just to give you a peek around town, right? Here's some people who've had programs, right? So there's there's also this um, sometimes a suspicion that, well, if I did an online program, well, that might reduce my professionalism, right? That's something that can't be customized and it might make me look like someone who's just money grubbing. Well, that's absolutely not the case. As a matter of fact, one of the members in your group asked about how we can personalize programs to make sure people get customized care. And so we're going to cover that at the end, okay? There is no lack of respect or quality. There's no lack of quality in what they're providing and there's no lack of respect happening for these professionals who are leaning heavily into the use of scalable online programs. So start looking around your niche and see what you see, okay? The other thing is to start thinking about topics right now. OK, don't be struggling. Don't get into protocol to program with us and have no idea what content you might like to teach people. Start thinking about it now. Right. The best way that I have found to narrow down what you might want to do a, a program on is to think through your avatars. Right. And the avatars are the people that you have served and you want to serve more of in the future. OK, um, we in the workbook, there is a link where you can get that free avatar accelerator exercise and start thinking through who through who you would absolutely be thrilled to jump out of bed every morning and serve. You know, I have a, a friend who is a naturopath here in San Diego, and she was trying to decide what should I do my program on, what should I do my program on? You know, and so she narrowed down the three things that she loved doing the most, right? One was ear infections, with chronic ear infections with kids. One was SIBO and one was perimenopausal women with hormone problems, right? And when she thought through, she doesn't have kids herself. So the ear thing was probably not great. She couldn't really relate to the panicked moms. 
The SIBO people, she loved treating it, but the SIBO people were grouchy and frustrated and they had had a really long road. So they were crabby at her, even though she was just starting with them. So she didn't like that. So she did a hormone balancing program, right? And thank God she did because the whole reason I even brought it up with her was she was helping me. I was going through perimenopause, getting moody and just feeling like, oh my gosh, I have anger. That's not my own. Clearly something's out of whack. So I went to see her for an appointment and she looked like she was going to cry. And I was like, Brooke, what's going on? And she said, I'm thinking of closing my whole thing down and just starting a coffee cart. And I was like, why? And she said, because I'm just not making enough money to make this work. Like I'm killing myself. I'm working seven days a week. I'm busting my ass. I'm skipping the gym. I feel like a hypocrite because I'm not doing what I tell my patients to do because I'm so damn busy trying to make this work. I was like, girl, do you know what I do for a living? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> We had to have a come to Jesus talk, right? And that's how she ended up moving toward getting her online program started. But start thinking about it now, you guys, right? And if you pick an audience you love serving, then a year from now, when your program is wildly successful and you're waiting to let the next wait list in, you're going to be jumping out of bed excited to serve that community, which right. is totally different than if you pick an audience that you're like, ew, I, I would actually not like to have, you know, a thousand people in a course solving that problem. So think through it in advance. Okay. And this is, this is very much relevant for health coaches. I know, I know that she's talking about medical professional friends, but this program is so perfect for health coaches because, you know, if you do weight loss, whatever you set, specialize in hormones, whatever you're, whatever it is, you can niche it down and sell it in a huge way. And I think it's even easier for health coaches. I think the medical professionals to do this Yes, really do. Yeah. it really is because you guys have a lot less restrictions, right? Mm -hmm. So depending on your licensure, you have all different kinds of restrictions, but coaches, you guys are allowed to provide your support in a much wider gamut. It's, it's much more generous what you can provide. So I exactly. love it for you guys the most actually. And then here's the thing to really understand about leverage is that whatever you guys are doing right now to attract people into your coaching services right now, whatever that is, if it's referral, if you're crazy on Instagram or you're dancing on TikTok or you're paying for ads, I don't care what it is, but you're doing something to get people in the door, right? When they come in the door, you're going to have to have some sort of an engagement with them to decide whether or not they're going to work with you, right? If they're going to get coaching by you, okay? So what happens when you add leveraged group programs is now you still attract people and we help a lot with that and how to do that, okay? Okay. And then you can automate a lot of this part, the interaction, but when people have been attracted to you and they're making a buying decision, instead of just working with you one-on-one, -on -one, they now have up to three choices. Okay, this is where I told you it would go from lightly managed streams of income to passive streams of income. Okay, so initially you're going to have two choices. Well, you can work with me one on one and the package costs this much, or you can take one of my live group programs coming up in a couple of weeks. Right. And that would be a better price for them. Right. Because you're doing it in group. They don't have much one as much one on one access to you. So they're going to pay a little bit less, but you're going to make more because you're serving a volume of people instead of just one person at a time. And then after you've done that group program two, three times and you know, OK, yep, Joy, I've got it. It's perfect. People get it. They're implementing the information. Now you can take that group program that was live and you can offer it as an evergreen for a third tier price point, right? So you would have higher, like, so this would be, you know, the lowest way to invest with you. This would be the most expensive way to invest with you. And this would be sort of the moderate way of investing with you. Okay. That's when you can go from lightly managed to passive income. That's how you triple your opportunity because you're already doing this work. Now, you guys, you already do something right. And many of you are like, I'm not doing enough. I don't have enough people, right? <clears throat> so if you're going to start doing this work, if you're going to start drumming up a bigger audience, wouldn't you like to have three opportunities to sell to them instead of just one? Now, when you do this, it's important. I believe it's important to really value your one-on-one -on -one time a lot, 
right? So I like your one-on-one -on -one session time to be priced nice and high. Now, why? Because your time is super valuable. That's why, right? And the other reason is I want a nice price gap between, hey, it costs this much to work with me in my group program, right? So for example, Jody's group program is going to be a $2,000 offer, $1,999. But if we're people were to do that one-on-one -on -one work with her, it might be $5,000 for them to have her personal attention to do it, right? So weigh that in the scale. Do I want to pay five grand, right? Or do I want to do it as a group with a bunch of other women for two grand? I'm saving three grand and I'm getting the same results. I'll take that all day long, okay? So your buyers need a gap between what it costs to work with you one-on-one -on -one and what it would cost to work with you in a group program. Otherwise, the decision is too hard to make, right? But when there's a big gap, it's very easy for them to make. All right. So I want you to start thinking about bumping up your pricing now. And I want you to start planting in your brain the seeds that once people are working with you in any of these capacities, right? One on one group or an evergreen program they can buy anytime. You're still going to have them in your world now which means you can promote the sale of testing that you like or supplements that you like. And chances are you're gonna make a markup on those items too. And so those are gonna add more income. Okay, I'll give you an example. In Taylor's case, when she first launched her program, there were 251 people in there. So she sold 251 more gut tests, right? So that's a lot more income. And you might not be thinking about all those little additions, but they really stack up when you have 200, 300, 500 people in your program. Okay. Now, Jody, I think you might be muted, honey. You want to unmute? I can see you talking, but yeah. So thank you. I was just going to mention, even if you don't do labs or supplements, even if you're, you're not using that, you can take anything that you're selling like e essential oils yeah. or skincare, you know, um, whatever kind of, if you have another thing that you're selling, you can include that as well. You don't have to, but it's just an option and it, it, it will up your sales there as well. Yeah. We have a lot of people who even recommend like certain tools, like the little acupatches or certain foam rolling. A lot of the fitness people have a lot of gear that they right. want. So definitely anything that you have a little markup on becomes a big markup when it's a big group of people, instead of just one person at a time that you're treating. Okay. Um, now the next thing that I would want you to do is get set up for scalability. Now this is where it gets intimidating, right? Because you're like, oh, the tech to actually be able to scale, to grow my list, to deliver an online program. This is where it can get really uh, sort of tech intimidating is the word that I would use. Okay. And somebody in the group asked, what tech do you approve of? You know, what tech do you think is simplest? And so I'll tell you when it comes to setting up for scalability, there's three things that I look for in the tech. Um, something that makes it easy for you to bring your audience, whether that's on social media or YouTube, speaking live, whatever it is, a way, an easy way for you to bring your audience into your email list because you don't own Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, but you own your own list. So I want you to do what you can to get people on your list because you control that list. That's going to be your best long-term marketing tool. Okay. So we need to find ways to get people on your list. The other thing is, I like you to save on tech services by having one service. Now, why? We broke the internet when we were doing JJ's book launch. Okay, we were on Infusionsoft. It's a big program. But when you had the funnel pages on lead on click funnels or lead pages, and then you have um, Infusionsoft with the list and you have the checkout cart over here, you have all these different services. The more different services you're stitching together to make your process work when you go to sell something, the more likelihood the connections between them will break. Okay, so I like you to be able to bring your audience over to a list easy. I like you to have a single tech service, right? Instead of stitching together a whole bunch of different things, that's where the tech gets really, really complicated. Okay, and I don't want you guys in the middle of your launch to be panicking because you don't know how to handle some tech. I want you to use simple tech that you can manage. Okay, and then if I had it all my way, you would use a tech that would let us push you templates that we have already spent millions 
millions of dollars in ad spend on our clients, right? You guys don't even want to know what JJ and, and Amy and all those people combined, their ads are in, they're spending a lot of money on ads, okay? So what we do is we like to take what's working, those templates that are working, and then we give them to our clients in protocol to program so you don't have to split test stuff because split testing stuff is a waste of ad money. And I don't want you to do that, not on my watch, okay? So those are the three things that I look for. So I'm going to walk you quickly through a case study just to show off the templates. And you'll also see a financial win that might be a little bit inspiring too, okay? So Taylor Dukes reached out to me because she um, was feeling completely overworked and underpaid. She was like, I'm over this. I don't know what to do. She was bringing home somewhere, but you know, around 4,000, 6,000 on a great month. Um, but she was killing herself trying to do it, right? And she really wanted to help more people. She has a heart of gold, this woman, and she wanted to help more people, but she was also getting ready to leave on maternity leave, right? Because she was pregnant and she's going to have her baby. So she came to me with no clear, unique idea or plan. She kind of was like, I think I want to do something around gut health. I'm not perfectly clear. Um, but what she did know was that she was absolutely capped out on how much she could make, right? Because if you're working all the days of the week, you can't add any more days, right? So she was already capped out. And so she decided to go ahead and jump in and do the protocol to program process. So the first thing we did was get her clear on what she wanted to teach. She wanted to teach people how to get their gut right. As a matter of fact, her program is called get your gut right <laughs> pretty good name right very clear so we helped her organize okay what things will you teach in what order right we have to start thinking through what are we going to teach them first and second and third so that week over week you know exactly what lesson plans to have ready for everybody that's important so we helped her get that organized into a clear model um she went ahead and used the platform that we like and then she got those templates pushed. We just pushed them right into her account. Now, how do we do that? We give her a campaign code. She accepts the campaign code and blah, 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 all the campaign comes into your account and you see all the pages already stitched together. So you don't have to do the complicated tech stuff. Okay. So the template looks like this. We put a picture there that you're intentionally excited to replace with your own right? And then you customize it. It's color by numbers, right? Her fonts, her colors, her sales page ended up looking like this, okay? <clears throat> and then after she did two weeks and four days of promotion, okay? In two weeks and four days of promotion, we pixeled, that's how you track people online, we pixeled almost 6,000 people, which means now we have 6,000 people we could try to sell the program to next time, right? So that's some massive, massive growth, okay? We added 1,200 new people to her list. Also more people that we could sell the program later just because they didn't buy this time doesn't mean they won't buy next time, right? So this is good list growth. Now, because she only wanted to cap it at 251 or 250, we didn't close the cart on time, right? We had to close the cart after one person. So she completely sold out, which means that she made $498,000 just from the program sales, okay? Now, after we closed cart on the program, we sent an email saying, hey, if your spouse or your loved one wants to go through this with you, they can go through it at a discounted rate. And that added another $21,000. So from building the program, which took her eight weeks, and then she did a two week promotion, two weeks and four days, she had over a half a million dollars in profit from her launch. Okay. Now I know people are guys, people are like throwing numbers at you guys all the time. So I went into the back end of her account. You can see there's her little picture here. This is her, her account. And you can see that at $251, these numbers don't match up, right? Now that is because she offered a three pay, right? So her program was $1,495. And she did uh, 251 sales, or sorry, no, her program was $1,985. So just under $2,000, okay? She sold 251 of them, but many of them took the three pay option. So you'll see that the numbers will add up. If you did that on a calculator, you come here, okay? And then adding the extra family members caused her to have an extra bump in sales, okay? Now, how did she deliver the content to them? Well, here was the templated membership site. Okay, that's what it looked like before. And then we color it. 
with her colors and her fonts and her pictures. Now, some of you might be looking at this and think, Joy, I could never make these pretty graphics like this, the join your Facebook and the pretty face and all the workbooks. We did it for you, okay? We made the templates for you in Canva. You're just going to change them to your own colors, your own fonts, and your own pictures, okay? Now, she did, she recorded the videos in advance, just in case she would feel a little nervous to deliver it live, which happens to some of us, right? Some of us get nervous on camera. So she went ahead and recorded the trainings, and then she just did a live Q&A once a week for 10 weeks, right? There were nine modules in her program, uh, three sessions in each of the three modules, so nine lessons total, and she had some prep modules. She did a prep week. So 10 weeks, one hour, she went live to answer questions, and she made over half a million dollars. Not bad, right? Okay, so that's the tech platform that I suggest to make it easy. The third thing is to start specializing. And I want to speak to this a little bit because it makes people really nervous, okay? Like, but I'm really good at a lot of things. I don't want to settle on one thing. I'm going to tell you a secret <laughs> that what people have told you about the riches being in the niches is absolutely true, okay? The reason for that is people don't get up and Google general health problems, right? They get up and Google a solution for specific problems. That's why you need to start in a specific niche. But here's the thing, once they're in your world, then you can start talking to them about many other different topics and many different program ideas, okay? So just because people come into Jody's world through, let's say, her skin program, Saving Face, that doesn't mean that they might not also have diabetes. And she's a whiz at turning around diabetes. But once they're in her world and they know her and they like her and they trust her as a brilliant practitioner, then when they see an email come through that she's going to do a talk about diabetes, diabetes, well, guess what? They already love her. So of course, they're going to want to do that with her rather than some stranger that they don't know yet. So don't worry too much about picking a specialization for your first program. Okay. You can always expand with your people later. All right. The next thing that everyone in the group has told me, ah, oh, I wish I was really clear with my messaging on social before I started this group. Okay. So to make sure that you have congruent messaging, I want to give you a little hint. And then I have a handout in the, in the PDF that I put in the, the link in chat. Um, there's an exercise here in the next slide, but you guys, if you try to speak to everybody in the world about general health, no one is going to listen to you. Okay. You need to narrow it down and you need to go on all your social media platforms and you need to clearly state exactly what you do and for whom, okay? And you don't want to use a whole bunch of medical jargon, jargon or coaching language or link, if you're in fitness, language that's specific to you. You have to use language that your people will understand, okay? And then you want to make sure that on all those platforms, you're, con you're consistently making invitations, right? It might be an invitation to get a free something, right? So they're on your email list. It might be an invitation to come to a webinar, a training, or to join your program or to work with you one on one, right? But you should make invitations in an order that makes sense, right? If Joy, I there's wanted, a, there's yeah. a couple of questions here asking, what if you already yeah. have a website built on Wix? That doesn't matter, right? Yeah. So when you build your website on Wix, or a lot of people have WordPress too, kind of old school, really good at SEO too. Um, that's really good question. You're going to want to keep your online web property as it is. Keep it there. Okay. Just keep it. So great question though. Great question. So if you wanted to clean up your social media and have one congruent message, I put a little worksheet in the workbook for you guys to just really whittle this down to something super clear and simple, right? I, or we, if you're a team, right? I help avatars do this and this and this without this so that they can this, right? So Jody helps health savvy women reduce their, uh, um, you know, reduce the look of wrinkles, um, get rid of their jowls, you know, that little thing on their cheek, right? And reduce age spots without uh, dangerous injectables so they can have the look of a facelift naturally, right? With no surgery. That would be an example of what she could say, right? So I want you to get really clear about what you do. And I want you to whittle it down to this statement. Now, some social media platforms want you to be really brief and concise. Instagram, for example, right? Your Instagram is very limited in characters. So you're going to have to slim that down to a concise statement value, right? I help 
help savvy women achieve the look of a facelift without surgery. Done. Okay. Jodi could go across all of her platforms if she was if she was singly focused on saving the face, saving face program, and she could use that consist, concise statement of value, and then she would be congruent across all of her social media platforms. Very important. Okay. Now, another thing that people who work with us wish they had done sooner is to start collecting social proof. Okay. Now. People will just give you reviews if they're nice to you. But if you want to ask for a review that is compelling and works really well on the sales page for your program, there's a simple three-part formula for doing that. And this is in your workbook too, you guys, okay? I want you to ask them, hey, what was going on in your life before you even found me that my Saving Face program was of interest to you? And they're going to tell Jody, oh man, age spots, wrinkling, jowls. I was just feeling like I was 100 and I'm only 50, right? They will tell her that. Why is that important? Because that's the exact kind of conversation she could have on social media and in email promotions that would resonate with her audience, right? Because they told her exactly what was going on in their hearts and minds before they said yes to working with her. That's super powerful to have for your marketing, you guys. Super powerful, okay? And then, of course, you want to know their experience of working with you and the results of, in their life as a result of working with you. Now, the last thing you want to ask them is, what would you say to someone who's on the fence about working with me? Okay. And those are going to be the distinctions that they saw about you that they did not find in any of your competitors. That's why it's important to ask. Okay. So start collecting those now, you guys. You're going to feel a little bit like you're being a pain in your client's butt, but you're absolutely not. They love the chance to gush about you. So don't be shy. Ask now. You're going to need these testimonials when you build your sales page for your program. All right. And then step six, and this is the last one. Everyone in the in protocol to program tells me, I wish I would have been consistent on social media before I got to you. Okay. So pick a schedule. I don't care if it's only once a week, right? It's better that you're consistent than that you don't do it at all. Okay. And then pick a platform. Okay. Don't try to be everywhere and be everything for everyone. Just pick a platform later, right? When you have profits coming in from your programs and other sales, you can have someone take that single form of content and make you omnipresent on all the channels, right? But you can do that with a very inexpensive overseas VA. So I don't want you to waste your time on that now. Pick a schedule, pick a platform and be consistent, okay? There's a link in the handbook to a free asset that can help you guys. It's called the Content Marketing Blueprint, right? And it'll just give you prompts for little things that you can say so you don't get that kind of deer in the headlights feeling when you go to post, okay? And that happens to everybody. So if you think that you're alone, you're not. It happens to all of us, okay? And if you are interested in the idea of leveraging your knowledge into profitable online programs. You guys have access to this training. You can see it now at healitscale.com forward slash Jody. Okay. There's a link inside the handout too. So you have that. You're going to see some stories from many of our other clients. You're going to learn exactly what is an online health program, right? What does it take to put it together? How do you protect your existing business from your online programs and sales? That's very important. That training goes into depth about that. It will also give you some free templates, right? Because I want you to have a big influx of income so that if you decide to invest in building your program with us, I want that to be paid for, right? So you're going to get free email and social media templates inside that training. And you'll see exactly the checklist if you want to build your program with us. You'll see exactly what that looks like. You'll also have access because of Jody to save three grand on doing that if you decide to do that with us. Okay. So that is a big uh, savings for you just because of Jody. Okay. Now, the last thing that you'll see on that training is that for the next five days, our team has cleared their schedule to talk to you guys. It's first come first serve. Okay. What's going to happen on that session is we're going to ask you nine questions that help us understand what's going on in your business. And then we're going to tell you the three things we would do if we were in your shoes, right? Because we've helped people come from relative obscurity to be household names, right? And then we've also helped little hometown heroes who just wanted to get to that 200K or 250K a year. That was their dream. And that is completely possible too. Now the plan 
right? Is going to be different based on what your goals are. Okay. But whatever it is, we'll tell you exactly what we would do. And then we'll tell you the three action items to take from that plan next. So when you hang up from the session, you're not going to be like, oh my God, what should I do now? Right. You'll have an actual action plan. And if you want our help, great. Then we're, we'll show you the options that you have to get our help in working with it us. But if you don't need help, heck, you guys have a plan from people who've been doing this for 10 years in the health and wellness space. And I'd say that's probably worth the time that you take to talk with us. Now, Jody, if it's okay, I pulled some screenshots from your, <laughs> your program and I want to show it off. Is that okay with you? Go for it. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So, um, Jody has revealed that she is using the protocol to program process to launch her own program. Now I want to reveal, and I'm sure Jody can share with this too. It was a big decision because there was a part of her that was like, Joy, is this going to, you know, am I going to feel sort of surface or vapid if I help women do their skin? Maybe it just seems like a vanity project and it's not, you know, important enough. It's not going to change the medical world, you know? <laughs> girl, if I could get rid of my dark spots and my wrinkles and everything I want and brag to everyone, I'm 52 and I look this good because of everything I've lost for Jody. that is a big change in a woman's life. So while she might not be reversing MS like Terry Walls, this is something that's going to bring great joy to the participants of this program. As a matter of fact, she was so honorable that she decided she's going to put a beta test together just to make sure that her whole process worked. And you guys are going to see she's already getting rave results. So you might struggle to pick your topic and that is not unusual, right? But I guarantee you with everything Jody knows, this is also not going to be her last program. Okay. So the first one is fun and, and we'll show you why she went with it. Okay. When you join protocol to program, we force you to take a look at some prerequisites, okay? Because we don't want you to go to all the time and trouble of building a program and that's not gonna sell, right? We don't want that for you. So we asked you to follow the money, okay? We want you to get online and do some research. So for her, she's like, hey, I wanna get rid of wrinkles, jowls, dark spots, smooth the skin, plump it up. I said, okay, Jody, let's follow the money. Let's investigate on Google how much money are people spending on um, fillers, injectables, creams, everything that we could think of. Well, this is just the price on injectables, you guys. Billions, right? Mm -hmm. So does it mean that women are willing to invest in that? Oh, heck yeah, right? And if women are willing to invest in that, isn't it likely there's a subset of women who would rather not inject botulism in your face, right? Maybe they're the Whole Foods and Lululemon women, right? They don't, they want that, but they don't want to put themselves at danger. They want to do something healthy, right? So then the next question is, can you do it? Do you have a proven protocol? So I said, all right, show me, Jody. Show me what you got. Show me some proof. And she sent me plenty of pictures where I could visually, I'm not even a doctor, you guys, right? And I could tell the difference. I could see, oh my gosh, look at this difference. The smoothing, the color, everything. So she had so much proof that I was like, okay, check that box. Then the only thing that we needed to do was create a situation where she could have an online exchange, right? The people who wanted to participate could give her money and she could deliver the content in a way that they could both learn and implement, right? Because knowledge without implementation, you guys, that's worthless, okay? And I have to tell you, there's plenty of PubMed research if you guys want to dig into it. I nerd out on this stuff, okay? There is plenty of PubMed research that shows your people get better results in a group, right? And so if you dig into the research, the psychology behind it, the kind of common thread that most of the research agree on is humans are herd animals and we need each other. And we need to get rid of the loneliness of going through a condition because being lonely and isolated and frustrated in and of itself makes the health challenge or problem harder to get over. So you put people in a group, they commiserate, they inspire each other, they hold each other's hands, they laugh and cry together. And lo and behold, they get up to 80% better results. And you guys go on PubMed and check this out. I'm begging you. It's like smoking cessation, weight loss, cancer survival, Survival, anxiety, getting off um, medications for, uh, for bipolar disorder. Like the research is crazy. Like people do better when they have a group. And I personally believe it's just because we're human. We need each other. So she checked all these prerequisites. Um, she didn't have the online exchange, but she went ahead and purchased that best CRM too. So we were able to push everything to her account, which shortcutted her success. Okay. And you guys, if you want to know how I did that research with her, that's what I did. The Google search. 
And then I, I looked at spending trends and then I did a process called competition telepathy. That's something you'll learn about in protocol to program, but you could do a cheater version right now. Go look at three people who are doing something similar and see what they're charging, right? Start looking at your competitors marketing. Okay. This is what it's looking like. It's not even done. You guys, she just did an amazing photo shoot. I can't wait to put the new photos in there. They're so gorgeous. And they even match the whole look of her new brand board for this skin project called saving face. So the course is called saving face, introducing a new way to achieve the look of a top-notch facelift without surgery. Who wants that? You guys, I want that. <laughs> I'm super excited for this program. So this is how her sales page looked and we could get it this beautiful, this fast because we pushed templates to her account. Okay. Now you remember, I told you that she was nervous, right? What if it just feels like a vanity project? What if people don't get success? She shared with me that women in her beta group are already texting. You guys, they're only what three weeks in Jody. Are you guys three weeks, right? Three weeks in and she's already, and look at this. It's not just the skin. And this is the reason why you can bring people in through one niche, but you can expand the services you offer them later, right? This lady's saying, okay, yeah, my jowls look great, but check this out. Less stress, better skin, better bowel movements, great sleep, a younger glow. Two people stopped her to ask, right? So it's like clearly Jody Jody's process works. So for her to have the confidence of having done a beta group and have testimonials like these to throw up on her website, totally makes sense. So any of you who want to do a beta test, we encourage you to go ahead and do that. So you have your own satisfaction and you can do that. Okay. Now I promised to show you sort of the customer flow here. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to paste that link in the chat. So you guys have the handout. Make and Terry sure. will put it on Facebook as well for those who are watching us on Facebook. Okay, great, great. So there is the link to that. And then I just want you guys to be able to see how this looks, okay? So I'm gonna share a screen really quick because I want you to see that we did not let Jody wait until her, pro until her program was done. I told you guys she's in beta testing, right? So her sales page is not live, right? Because she has her beta group in there. But while she's doing all this work, here's what we had her set up from day one. When she joined with us, we're like, hey, you're building a saving face priority notification list. Why do I want her to do this? I want her to do this because all of the skin or healthy tips that she's giving on TikTok, on Instagram, Facebook, anywhere else. I would like her to follow up by letting people know they could go to savingface.me early interest and they could get on the VIP notification list. What is that doing, you guys? It's growing her list while she's building her program. Is that a good idea? Yeah, because then when she her program is ready, Jody, how many people do you have on there, hun? 168 right now. She has 168 people waiting for this program right? If she sold 168 times 2000 in her program, that's going to be a very successful launch straight <laughs> out the gate. And that's before any paid media, any affiliate promotions, any of me whooping her booty to get stuff done and getting out there even more, right? So that all, she already has people on the VIP wait list for this program. That's what we want you guys to do too. We want you growing your list from day one. Okay. Now, if I put my name and email in here, here's what happens. Okay, I'm going to see the thank you page for signing up. Okay, now on this thank you page for signing up, it says, hey, thanks for signing up, right? Now she can point me anywhere she wants. So if she wanted me to go watch a blog, that's what she wanted. Maybe she's looking for more Instagram followers. What she would do is say, hey, Joy, go follow me on Instagram for more daily tips. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to click that button. I'm going to follow her because I want beautiful skin, right? So that means she just used this page to also grow her Instagram following fun, right? We get to, if we get the eyeballs on a page, we get to keep directing where those eyeballs go. Okay. Now, once they're in her world and on this list, they are going to get, and we're still finishing this for Jody right now. So there's some things on here. You guys can kind of see how the template process works, right? How do desired result in her case, it's going to be have the look of a facelift without surgery, right? So we're working on this. Her people will get this invitation to join the webinar. 
Okay, after they join the webinar, they're going to have a whole lesson with Jody about how dangerous it is to put botulism in your face, right? She's going to show them things that have gone wrong, right? She's going to educate them about different opportunities. They're going to leave this webinar with so much powerful information. Their no like, and trust factor for Jody is going to go through the roof. Now, that makes it a much easier buying decision, right? So here's a call to action. We'll go here. They're going to end up on her sales page after that webinar. Now, after they've got that free training from her, it's much easier for them to say yes to this decision, right? Look at this beautiful sales page. She's looking great. We're going to put our new photos in there, Jody. Those are going in there, right? So all of this beautiful sales page is possible because Jody got on the same system, system as us and let us push these templates to her. Okay, so that's how this can work. Now, if they go ahead and, and are interested, they're going to come here to this form. You guys, with all of those experts that you see, JJ, Jody, Chris, everybody, we've tested these order forms. And this particular order form got us a 17% bump in our last multi-million dollar launch. Okay, now, is it fair that we would do that for one of our one-on-one -on -one clients and not tell Jody everything we learned? Of course not. So we're going to give Jody a leg up and say, here, sweetheart, we know this, this check out form converts better, you go ahead and use it too, because that's what we want when we share these templates with you. Okay. Now, once they buy, they're going to have the access to login. Now I want you guys to see something really smart here. If I already paid, I'm going to go ahead and log in. Right. But what if Jody shared her login page with me, but I don't have a login, then I'm going to see here. Oh, well, I'm not a member, but I want to be, it's going to take me back to the sales page where she's going to get more sales. All right. So that's the kind of logic that has been built in to the program. So you can move people along from joining your list to going to your webinar, which grows your list a whole big bunch. Right. And then buying the program and then you deliver the content inside the program. OK, now, remember, I told you I wanted you guys to start considering looking at other people's projects like their programs that you might want to sell, right? Because it'll start breaking your brain open out of the one-on-one -on -one paradigm to start thinking about the possibility of promoting programs your own and other people's, right? Now, tell me this, you guys are health coaches. Would you rather that your clients inject botulism into their face? Or would you rather that they learn real solutions from someone as brilliant as Jody? My question is, my, my guess is the latter, right? You probably would like the latter, okay? Now, my next question is, would you rather remain in the time for money trade or are you ready to start expanding and looking at leverage streams? Even if you're just thinking about the idea, when Jody's ready, I'm sure she'll let you guys know, right? And if you think, yeah, I want my people learning from Jody instead of putting botulism in their forehead every six weeks, right? Then you could promote for her program. You guys know how brilliant she is. Clearly, you trust her to teach your people well. They're going to buy that program, which includes some testing and products and stuff, right? And even if you just sold 10 people that, you just made an extra three grand. If that doesn't open your brain to the idea of leveraged income, then nothing is going to do that. Okay. So I want you to start thinking about this and I'm sure Jody will communicate to the group and let you guys know when that becomes possible and ready. She's so honorable that she's doing that beta group. So she's going to make darn sure she gets great reviews from everyone before she even lets you guys refer people to this program. But this is how you guys can start making change. Okay. So if you want to dive deep into this and you really want the brass tacks to get it going, go and watch that training. You'll see an email from Jody, or you can just go straight to uh, healitscale.com forward slash Jody. You're going to see a lot of different stories in there. Now, this comes up in almost every time I do this training for Jody's group is what if I don't have a list or I don't have a following? So I wanted to share with you, here's three different women who could not be more different in terms of how much following they had, right? Amy, big list because she's done the book campaigns, right? So she has a big email list, big social media following. Taylor, not a big list, right? I think she had 2000 total on her list and she had a minimal like 15K Instagram following, okay? When Megan Bliss left her clinic job, okay? She was in a clinic and she decided to do this. She had no list, she had almost no following and she made $61,295 just doing a promotion for two weeks and four days. OK, so what happened? We made her start growing her list and her following. OK, that is part and parcel of the program. And my question becomes, if you don't have a list or following, 
Do you want to start growing it and only have one option, one-on-one, -on -one, which will put you on the, path, on the path to burnout pretty darn quickly? Or would you like to have multiple ways that they can work with you as you grow your list so you never become one of those bitter, resentful, bitter coaches who's like, I've worked my butt off and I'm not hardly making any money, which is what happens to way too many of you guys. Okay. I, I just want to say something about Megan too. It's that yeah. she didn't have a big practice at all. I, you know, you think, oh my God, she's probably really well established and that's why she did so well. No, she had like almost no clients. She just started yeah. doing more coaching. Yes. She left her NP job is doing coaching. And she's like, I want to, you know, I want to do this. I need to make money. Yeah. And she came out of nowhere. I was like, I couldn't believe it. She launched her program. We're all so excited for her. Yeah. But to bring in that much money. It's awesome. Yeah. And you guys, funny story with her, because she was working at a clinic, right? At least the clinic has its own like list and social media following. Right. But she was an employee at that clinic. So she didn't have any of that, right? She also was not allowed to use any of her clients from that clinic because she had a non-compete, right? right? So, and she lives in a small rural town, right? So she went from helping people in a small rural town as many as she could fit one-on-one -on -one in a day, right? And she got some tiny bonus if she brought people into the clinic, but it was next to nothing, right? And then she decided to do this when her, the owner of the clinic found out, he was like, you're, you're fired. If you want to do something online outside of here, you're fired, right? So she she had to make a decision. Do I keep my job or do I go ahead and do this? This is what I really want to do. And she went for it and she did it with no list, no fault, no, no nothing, you guys. And she really went straight at it. She went all in. She built the program in eight weeks flat. She did two weeks and four days promotion and she closed 61K, right? So worth it. Okay. Now I know for some of you guys, it's a financial stretch, even though we give Jody's world a uh, $3,000 off still seven grand is a lot of money, but you pay, you know, for her, she was like in a panic. She put it on a credit card. She's like, I have to do something this. I can feel it in my soul. This is what I need to do. I'm going to do it. So she talked to her husband and they did it. And thank heavens this worked out perfect. Now she is just prepping for her second launch. Right. So that $7,000 investment, you could be like, okay, 7,000, she made 62 almost. Right. Well, that's worth it in and of itself. But now she's relaunching the program. Once you have it, it's yours. You can launch it three, four, five times a year, as many times as you feel comfortable. And when you feel like it's perfect, you can even open it for less money right? Without you live and people can pay less and still get the same information. So then you have that full three streams. Okay. So that's kind of how it works. When you guys watch that training, you'll see that for the next five days, we have those sessions available for this community only. Okay. So make sure to take advantage of that. The link is in the handout that I gave you, or you can go to healitscale.com forward slash Jody, and you can see that training and have access to those sessions. Now, Jody, you guys had a whole bunch of really good questions. So if you had some live that you want to prioritize, I'm happy to answer those. But your uh, but Terry sent me 19 questions from your people. Okay, yeah, no, go for it. Go ahead and um, I don't see any right here. I think someone raised their hand. They could just go ahead and type in the, in the chat so I can. Okay, I can somebody in the Zoom part of the chat is saying that they can't see the slide. So I'm going to plop that right back in. Okay. And then I have the questions. I'm, so I'm just going to read here. Number one is what is the best platform to use? And then they had a sub question of, can you do this within practice better? I believe in a separation of church and state. And what I mean by that is I like you to keep your practice or your coaching, whatever you're doing, practice better separate and your online programs separate from that. Right now, the reason for that, and this may seem like way far off in the future, you guys, but I've seen so many times where people build a really good online platform, online program, and somebody wants to buy it. Usually it's like the company that has, you know, supplements or testing or products that they're selling a lot more of. So Jody's Jody's course is a really perfect example, right? Because within her programs, she's suggesting certain base topical products, right? Now, if we fast forward a year and her, and her program is wildly successful, then chances are that company is going to be like, who in the heck is this person selling more of our product than we're selling of our product? Guess what they're going to want to do? 
they're going to want to buy it from her. Okay. Now, if they walk up and offer her a few million dollars for that, she's going to probably say, sure. Now, like if thinking. she had that <laughs> woven in to her practice better, ripping those two companies apart is a financial disaster, a legal disaster. It's a hot mess, you guys. So I like you to keep it separate. Number two, I don't have much of a social media following. Would you recommend starting a challenge within another group if you had the founder's approval? I love challenges, you guys. You can't do a challenge that sells into a program that isn't ready yet, right? So it's sort of like all roads lead to Rome. So all marketing roads will lead to Rome, which means we have to have the city center ready, right? We have to have the program, at least the prep section and the welcome video ready. And then I don't care if you do the rest of it live week over week. That's what Megan did, right? So so Megan, the one that, that Jody was talking about, she launched so quickly. She like had the prep section and the welcome video, and then she did everything week over week live. Okay. So you can do it that way. Um, best topics structure. Well, best topics, you have to have a protocol for that or a treatment plan or a way you like doing it. So the topic definitely is going to be up to you, uh, but you can do those prerequisite searches that I suggest, right? So if you're thinking about doing something, you know, in Jody's case, you saw the example skin. So we're like, all right, what are women paying to take care of their skin? You want to see that there is some financial logic for building that program, meaning people are investing in solving that particular problem, Okay. Um, very curious about passive income. Well, that's not really a question, but aren't we all right? <laughs> um, and you guys remember passive income is anything but passive, right? So we're going to ask you to do your program live first and make sure that you, you're not thinking that you're really clear, but in actuality, people have a little trouble implementing. And when you do the program live, you'll see it right away, right? Cause you'll have multiple questions on that same session or that same lesson. And you'll be like, oh, maybe I need to restructure this lesson a little bit so that it's super crystal clear, right? The thing with you guys is you're so smart about health that you forget how many things your clients don't know, right? So you may have to teach a little more in depth or a little more simply um, to make sure people can implement. Um, getting started after being in a group clinical practice. Great. I think that you branching out on your own is brilliant and wonderful. You may want to do some one-on-one -on -one to keep your finger on the pulse of that. Uh, but I prefer the group method, obviously. Um, so if you're leaving a clinic practice, your struggle is going to be like the person above. You're probably not going to have that much following because your clinic maybe had a list or your clinic had a social media following and you don't, right? So you'll want to get on those six steps that we talk about. Decide what is your congruent messaging that you want to put out. Out. There's that worksheet called the concise statement of value. You guys, that would be a good place for you to start concise statement of value and get that stated clearly on all of your profiles. So people know who you are and who you serve, right? That's going to be your biggest struggle when you just leave a clinic is starting to grow your list and your audience. Okay. Uh, number six, how to provide a personalized solution for a client in a group program. I love this. I'm so happy that you asked. Okay. So I'm going to use Taylor's as an example. So in Get Your Gut Right, she does the Genova stool test. I can't remember which one it's called. And so people can order that test. Okay. So people can order the test. She's still earning a markup on that test. So it's still an additional profit, right? So people order the test in the prep module. Okay. And then in week four, three or four, by the time all the test is back now, what she cannot do, this is really important. You guys really, really important. So focus up. If she was to say to me, joy, if your step, if your stool test look like this, you need to do this, this, and this that's medical care. We're not allowed to do that online. Okay. It has to look like this. It has to look like joy and everybody else on the call. I want you to pull your stool test out in front of you. And I'm going to teach you how I teach my staff to read a stool test. Okay. And then after she's taught everybody how they read a stool test, then she says, okay, here's how I teach my team different protocols based on different buckets. So I teach my staff here at my clinic that when people are in this bucket, I use this protocol, this bucket, I use this protocol, this bucket, I use that protocol. Okay. So we are teaching how she normally interprets and we are teaching the protocols that she shares. We're not telling them which one to do. They have to make that decision on their own because online programs are education. Okay. So the federal trade commission, the FTC, 
looks at online programs as education and entertainment. It can't be medical care. So when it comes to personalizing, it's your responsibility to teach the way that you would personalize it. Okay, so rather than saying, if this, then that, you say, in my practice, when I have seen this, I generally treat it that way. And it's up to them to use the education and knowledge that you're sharing to customize based on the multiple protocols you may give them based on their results. Okay, so very clear distinction. You're teaching them how you normally solve things. You can't solve it for them. Okay. Um, now next uh, steps to take, um, well, clearly you can try to build this from the ground up. We've made it a system for you. So if you want to leg up, you're welcome to join us in protocol to program. Uh, what is the extent of the content? Um, I'm not sure if that, and I'm not sure if they mean the extent of the content that they would be providing Jody or the content that we provide. I think that's the content that you're providing, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we take you guys from beginning to end. You saw that even while Jody was starting to build her program and get her lessons done and her pages built, we had her put a VIP list up right away, right? So we want you growing your list while you're working with us to build it. So we do everything right from the early interest page, early interest thank you page, webinar registration page, a webinar. We teach you how to do the webinar. We give you a template for what works and how to teach content that actually closes to a sale. So you'll get that webinar template. Um, and then the webinar follow-up emails. Oh my God, you guys, those are hundreds of thousands of dollars to get good copywritten drive to register and drive to sale emails. And those are all included, right? And then the sales page, and the, the order form and the membership site, learning how to do all of that, stitch it together and launch and deploy the whole thing. That's all covered within the content of our material. And there's one thing that, you know, we don't talk about it a lot anywhere on the sales page, but I'm sure Jody can speak to this because people love it and hate it. You're going to understand how to talk to your people. Right, because I'm sure Jody, you can talk, you can share how it was in the group that the that health coaches, practitioners, doctors, everybody, it didn't matter. They would all speak their own internal language rather than using the language of their avatars. And that's one of the exercises that you your brain is completely gonna shift and be able to speak to people in language that has them hear you and know that you care and be more interested in working with you. It is a shift, uh, but it's worth it. <laughs> definitely worth it. Uh, how to manage your time. Um, we do have an entire unit on how we suggest that you manage your time when you're working with us. Um, and, and that's called setting up for scalability. And it shows you the number of hours, how you should disperse that, um, what you should use the live Q&A sessions for. So we do cover that. This is an interesting one. For content creation, what if I am camera shy? Okay. I have seen programs that were taught with all written lessons and handouts and even audios to listen to while people were washing dishes, walking the dog. But I have to say that um, on camera video trainings convert better. And the reason for that is, you guys, that there's so much human communication that happens in your eye contact and your tonality and your pace and inflection of your voice that because they can't be with you, but they're solving something near and dear to them, right? Health challenges are scary. So I have to say, it may be that you have yourself a little uh, pep talk in the mirror and you do video. If I had it all my way, that is the way that actually performs better and sells better, just so you know, okay? Okay. Um, I'm working with an older demographic. What might be nuances to marketing online to people in their 60s and 70s? Well, as long as you know where they're playing, where you're already grabbing your one-on-one -on -one clients, it's probably going to be the same. And you guys would be surprised. People think like TikTok is all millennials or it's all young kids or whatever. And Jody, I think you could share how many people did you get into your challenge from TikTok right in this age range? Uh, I already have, I think, close to 10. Um maybe six or 7,000 followers, yeah. which I was really surprised. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you guys, I'm shocked all the time by like the age range of people who end up coming in on our funnels on different platforms. So my, my advice to you on that one is don't shortchange yourself, right? Don't think that people aren't on them. Right. I don't, my, um, I know Carolyn, who's my husband's mom, she's always following on all these social platforms because she's in Oregon and we're in California. So she's on them just so that she can keep up and see what's happening with us and the grandkids. So don't shortchange though that age group. They're still online, you guys. <laughs> 
Um, okay, and then what recommendations other than social media do you have for building an email list? My number one, if you don't like social media, is affiliates, affiliate marketers, and that's becoming a promotional partner for your peers, right? So Jody's going to have her face program. You guys probably don't want to launch a face program. So why wouldn't you send that to her? You might be the person who has the exact right exercise program to prevent knee surgery. Well, Jody doesn't want to go around preventing knee surgery. So why wouldn't she refer to you? Okay. So changing um, promotion, promotional exchanges with peers, that is my number one suggestion. If you are a, an anti-social media person and it works really, really well, you'd be surprised how many multi-million dollar launches are led exclusively with affiliate or promotional partners. Um, catering to rural groups who do not have projectors at their meeting locations. Um, that, well, that's, that's the first time I've ever got that question. Um, but since we, uh, since we focus on you guys delivering your content online, um, all of this would be consumable online and any device they had. So people would be able to consume it on their iPhone, on an iPad, on the computer. Um, I don't know how you would really be presenting that stuff in the rural setting, but as long as people have internet, they'll be able to consume your content. I hope I'm not misunderstanding that question. All right, and that's that. It, the majority of them were like repeats of the same theme, Jody. So I think I hit them all. Yeah, I just want to say so. This, you know, first of all, if you all want to get the information that the freebies that Joy had put together for you all, go to healatscale.com slash J O D I, Jody. And she, they're going to give you that free um, how to stop leaving money on the table and in your health coaching business. And it's just another free training that is really great content. And it, she's also going to give you some free email templates and social media templates. So you're going to get everything you need to go ahead and start getting people, you know, interested. And then you're also going to get a free consulting session with, with joy, so how long is this session that they can have, Joy, with the consulting? The sessions are 45 minutes, but wow. we ask that you reserve an hour just to make sure because sometimes there's little things that we can really help you tweak. And so we want to make sure that just in case we go over, we ask you to hold an hour, but the sessions should be 45 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's very generous. And I will tell you that working with Joy and Travis, they are the consummate professionals. Joy is so amazing at what she does. And Travis is just amazing at what he does. I don't know how they found each other and married each other because <laughs> they complement each other perfectly. But honestly, what they put together is this program where you are basically putting in your information. Everything is already done for you. So it makes it just so easy and it, it up levels you so much that you know that you're going to, I know my program is going to be successful because everything's already done and everything's been proven with, with their years and years and years of experience in helping people like us really up-level their game in a big way and scale it huge way. And I can't wait to have more free time on my hands. And, you know, I, it, it, it is a lot of work putting it together, but it is so worth it. And you know, it's, it's taught me so much. I can't even explain how much I know now that I didn't know <laughs> even just a couple months ago. So I'm just so excited about doing this. And, um, it, it just opened my mind to the possibility of, okay, this one-on-one -on -one thing is great. I enjoy it. I love it, but you know, I'm 57. <laughs> it's like, do I want to be doing this forever? How about if I can still do my one-on-ones and charge a premium, like you said, but do this program where I am impacting so many more people, helping so many more people and having them get access to me for less money. This will not be my last program I do with, with this program because everything, <laughs> once you get everything, you have lifetime access, right, Joy? Yeah. So you can just keep repeating. It's like rinse and repeat and offer other programs. So I have like, I want to do an ADD program. I want to do, you know, um, acid reflux program. I'm thinking of all these programs I can do allergies, you know, oh my gosh, it's like, because the, the sky's the limit yeah, with it. You're so. vitiligo. You're also really good reversing diabetes. I mean, you have right. so many things you could do. And you guys, that's the biggest complaint that people have. I can't decide what program to do. You just pick one and get in the, in the leveraged income game. And then it becomes attractive enough that you're like, oh, okay, I see it now. I want program after program. It makes sense. And, and you have payment plans too, for people who need it as well. 
And yeah. I know, like you said, some of the people in the group put it on a credit card because they're just like, I need to do this and I can see the future. And even if you, you're not going to just break even, I mean, there's just, there's going to be people interested in doing your program. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I love what it, I loved it. And, um, I, I can't wait to launch us. Like, I'm just so excited to do it and see, you know, watch the cart. <laughs> yeah. It was inspiring to watch Jody's program come together. And even like this whole new photo shoot, right. It's like when she saw the level of professionalism of how her pages look and her webinar was looking, she's like, I want to go get new photos. Like I like, she felt compelled to up level her game right. because you're going to be set up with the same level of quality funnels and pages and membership programs that Amy has that JJ has, that Chris has, like everything we've learned along the way of making their content better get served up on a hot plate just for you guys. Exactly. So everybody go to healatscale.com slash J-O-D-I and get the freebies. At least you don't have to buy the program, but get the freebies and start seeing what's possible. Start building a list and see if it resonates with you. And um, you know, I think the program's a real bargain and I appreciate that Joy and Travis gave us $3,000 off this program. So that's a huge savings. I really think they could sell this program for $20,000. I mean, I, it is that good. It has that much content and that much, um, you know, what would it cost you to, to hire, um, a, a copywriter like Joy? I mean, it, it's expensive, right? I mean, it would cost yeah. you $5,000 just to get somebody to copyright all this and reinvent the wheel for you. Um, let alone having all the technology already done for you. I've learned so much about technology. I mean, even just in the, in the prep modules, <laughs> I, I mean, you know, there's all this information on the technology you need. So now I'm sitting here with a cool microphone <laughs> and my sound is better. I have lights here. Everything is so much better just in all the little things I'm learning about. Okay. I want to scale this. I want to be more professional. I want to bring everything that I'm doing to more people and affect and have more impact. It's just, it'll up level you. And I think everybody in the program felt that way. I mean, it's like, everybody was just saying, I mean, I remember some tears in the program, like this has changed my life. This yeah. program. I mean, <laughs> it really has it, it. Everyone in the program felt the same way. Like, Oh my God, I cannot believe what this is doing, what this has. I mean, the expectation is you are going to be a rock star from day one. And everybody felt that way. It's like, I got yeah. this. And so um, I just want to thank you so much, Joy and Travis, wherever you are, if you're listening, how, um, how much I appreciate everything you've done. And I hope a lot of you go ahead and do this because this is a way to get your, you, yourself out there and make a really good income doing what you love and impacting a lot more people. And I think that's what it's all about, right? It is. And, you know, I think a lot of the tears in the program come from the fact that you guys just don't know how magical you are. And that candy, that delicious goodness, it's all there. All we're really doing is helping you put a wrapper around it that announces that deliciousness to the rest of the world. And then when you get to the end of the program and you look at it well-wrapped and well-presented to the world, then you can sort of see more of your own value because like, wow, I never even knew that I had so many modules or sessions inside me. I never knew I could communicate it in such a clear way that people jump into the program and say yes. And so I think all the tears come from that. Like you guys are just magic on your own. We're just showing you how to wrap it in a way that the world can say, yes, I want that. I want to open that. I want to solve my problems with this person. And so seeing that level of success at the end is like, whoa, look at that. Yeah. I think that's where it comes from. <laughs> Definitely. I remember one, one of the participants in the program said, I felt like I was going into a car dealership to buy a car. And I wound up walking out with all the cars and the dealership. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like everything <laughs> it's hard to explain, but you all will get it if you do the program. And there is a money back guarantee too, yeah. if they don't love mm -hmm. it too, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, and nobody did that. Yeah. <laughs> nobody backed out. It was like, yeah. oh my gosh. This, we this stand by amazing. what we do. We stand by this. Like we love this. And, you know, both my husband and I had wanted to go into the medical field when we were much younger and I passed out at the sight of blood or anybody panicking. So that didn't really work out so well for me. And he absolutely hated hospital bureaucracy. 
So we found it bizarre that all of our favorite clients in our agency were in the health field. And we thought maybe it's a sign. We're just meant to come back and give back to you guys in the health industry so that, you know, by proxy, we get to help more humans um, reach your access. So I think it's kind of magical that it's come full circle like that. <laughs> Definitely. Well, Joy, thank you so much for coming oh, on. That was great information. I hope you all got some good Give us some thumbs up and some hearts if you if you appreciated what you learned and also for the free stuff you're going to be getting. So definitely yeah. plan on clicking on the link Terry's putting in the comments below, heal at scale.com slash Jody, and go ahead and get the freebies that you want and book a call with Joy if you'd like that free consultation, which is probably, you know, one on one with the with someone like her is worth probably over a thousand dollars, right? I mean, yeah, we yeah. charge that much for a session, but your community has been really inspiring. We've got some of the most, um, in-depth feedback from people from your group who've done it. And, you know, really yours are the ones who are really willing to be vulnerable and say, you know, I was scared about the future of my health business. And now I feel 100% confident that I can like do this no problem. And many of them have dropped to that, like one-on-one -on -one half day a week. So this is a special community that you have here Jody so thank you for Definitely, letting me be with you guys sure. <laughs> all right take care everybody bye. thanks bye-bye